<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, things are popping off. News is dropping left, right, and center. I think there's going to be a lot of business that Chelsea is going to do over the next few more days that's remaining in this transfer window. Look at this. I kind of said this. I've been predicting this all this time that the fact that Mark Kukurea is not even featuring at all for the past three games, I think he's surplus to requirements. So there's news breaking in regards to Mark Kukurea to Man United and a whole heap of other conversations going on in regards to Lukaku. There's Chalaban news. There's, there's a lot that's popping off. And don't forget, we still need to bring in at least one more attacker. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get cracking onto this particular news in regards to Mark Cookerell. Let's go through the news first and then I'll provide you guys with my opinion. Fabrizio Romano, literally about an hour ago. Exclusive, Manchester United made contact with Chelsea to ask about conditions of Mark Cookerell's deal on potential loan, no bid or concrete talks yet. United looking for left-back opportunity, but not too expensive. There are three candidates in the list no decision made yet. Why are they doing this? They're doing this because both their left backs, Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malasia, are both injured at the moment. So um, this is a little bit more information about this particular situation. Manchester United have, in the last 24 hours, inquired about a move for Chelsea's Mark Kukurea after Luke Shaw's injury. There is now a chance he could leave before deadline day, coming from Fabrizio Romano once again. And, and these are the injury situation for Man United. Obviously, Mason Man, we know, but that's not impacted with this particular news. But as you can see, Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malasia are both injured, and that is a huge, huge situation for them right now. So let's talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. Look, Mark Kukurea, he's at the moment, look, I want to be honest with you guys. I still rate him. I really do rate him. I know the kind of player I saw in Brighton, and I still believe that player is still there. It hasn't worked out for Chelsea Football Club, no doubt about it. We've paid a lot of money for him, and... Um, you know how 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 much more do we want to be patient? I thought maybe we give them give him at least this season to see what he does. But we are stacked on that left side. We are absolutely stacked. Ben Chilwell is the vice captain of Chelsea Football Club right now. He is the captain, so he ain't going nowhere. He signed a contract extension as well. I think it was uh, late last season. And then we've got Ian Martin at the moment, who is. I definitely want Ian Martin in the team. For me, he's showing immense quality. And I think him being the backup probably makes sense. Lewis Hall, we have already seen. He's moved on to Newcastle. So Kukurea, the first three matches, has not featured for Chelsea. And that is a telling situation. That should give, give us a message, a hint from Maurizio Pochettino that is not part of the setup. He is not part of the plan. If we had Champions League football, perhaps we could have kept him on. But right now, we are just so stacked. Someone like Ian Martin doesn't seem to get enough minutes as yet. And, and Mark Cooker is just an afterthought. So, so for me, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I would have loved to give him an opportunity, I think he's surplus to requirements and he needs to go uh, for his own benefit and for our own benefit, for our benefit as well as a football club. Now, the issue is, ladies and gentlemen, is that what type of a deal is this going to be? Now, a lot of people are getting very annoyed that potentially this could be a loan. So as you can see over here, uh, asked about conditions of Mark Cooker, our deal on potential loan. Now, Man United, they still have Luke Shaw and Tyro Malasia. So you can understand why they don't want to make it a permanent deal. I know a lot of Chelsea fans are a little bit upset. Why, why a loan? Now, why are we helping out our rival? <laughs> Look, I've always said, Premier League teams are the only teams that have money. Now, if they can give us a smart loan fee, and I think that's what we should be looking at, if we can get a good deal in terms of a good loan fee now, and then perhaps an obligation or an option to buy, I don't know whether we are going to get an obligation because they have two left backs and they're going to come back eventually. So we may have to settle with a loan. Now, the, the other thing that I don't know, and this is where I need your help, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section, how many more loan spots do we have available? I'm pretty certain we are 
we're, we're exhausting that situation. Lukaku still needs to go out on loan as well. Don't forget, we've just sent Andre Santos on a loan to Nottingham Forest. I'm not really sure how many more spots are available for a loan. Um, look, the sensible situation would be is Man United, cough up the money, take Mark Cooker out. Mark Cooker, is, we, we need smart money though. We bought him for $62 million on a five-year contract or so. We would need minimum $50 million to balance out the books. We 100% need at least 50 million. Now, I don't know whether uh, Man United are willing to spend 50 million on another on, on, on a left back when they already have two, yeah, sure, injured, but they will come back. So I think the whole sell situation is a little bit far fetched. So probably we're going to get a loan here. As long as we get a smart piece of loan, um, Let's see. Let's assess the situation next year. Don't forget, Kukure is on a long-term contract as well with Chelsea Football Club, and he's only into his second year. So let me know, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about the Kukure news. I think a lot of you guys will probably agree that he needs to move on. Um, there is simply no space for him at the moment. So um, I think, I think, I think from from a fan base point of view, it's going to be a resounding um, situation where you guys all agree that he needs to move on, um, whether it's a loan or a or a full purchase, let me know in the comment section what would you prefer and what is more realistic. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, first round of talks between AS Roma and Chelsea for Romelu Lukaku just finished. Roma submitted initial important bid with loan fee salary coverage now also being discussed. Negotiations continue in London with owners directly involved. So a couple of things to really hone in on this particular news. Salary coverage, very important. And the loan fee, what type of loan fee are we going to get we need to get something smart. And um, as we spent a lot of money on Romelu Lukaku, we better get something smart. And then the salary coverage as well. I think that is the biggest factor here. The fact that we don't have to pay 300 plus K for this particular brother per week. I think that makes sense. We want to show you a few more uh, news about this particular um, transfer saga. And then I want to give you my opinion on it. Breaking Roma have offered 4.2 million on a loan deal for Romelu Lukaku. But Chelsea want more. I think we should want more. We really should. 4.2 million. I'm pretty certain Inter Milan provided us something around close to 10 million package all up last season. So 4.2 million. I know that it's, it's another year after. And he's not a particular player in demand, uh, let's be honest. But if we can squeeze out potentially, you know, I don't know, six, seven million, let's go for that. Um, but yes, 100%, we need to ensure we get that wage coverage as well. Romelu Lukaku, look, I think this is done, done and dusted because this brother has actually come out publicly and saying all this. I'm nervous. Tomorrow I'm flying to Roma, Rome for signing. So he's not even hiding the fact anymore. So this guy is signing for Roma. Um, very, very soon. Um, that's a bit naive from him to just come out in public and just say that I'm flying to Rome for signing. I mean, what if it collapses? Then you're going to look like a fool again. Check this out. Roma captain Lorenzo Pellegrini. You're going to laugh at this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what Romelu Lukaku would bring, but there are those who are working to make it happen. We will see what he can bring when it's done. I don't know what he will bring. <laughs> Oh, my God. Romelu Lukaku, good luck, brother. Good luck to you because everyone in Serie A absolutely hates you. And they don't know what you're going to bring. So, let's see. Look, for us, it don't matter. I just need you gone. Look, ladies and gentlemen, Romelu Lukaku is, is, is a disease. He needs to leave Chelsea Football Club. There is no chance he sticks around at Chelsea. Chelsea don't want him. He don't want us. A lot of people are like, why? Why are you hating on him, Is Give him an opportunity. You know, he could do well. We need a striker. Look, you need to understand, Lukaku don't want to stay at Chelsea Football Club. And he is an expensive, you know, individual for our football club. So we need him gone. And as I said, wages. Wages need to be covered ASAP. And good luck to him. Good riddance and good luck to him. He needs to go. He needs to bounce ASAP. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Chalaba wants to join Bayern Munich with Thomas Tuchel. Bayern want a loan. Chelsea would prefer to sell. I don't think we can do all of these loans. <laughs> Kukurea on loan. Lukaku on loan. Chalaba potentially on that. No, no, no. Chalaba probably needs to leave. We don't have, we simply don't have any more spots for Chalaba. That's the honest truth. Wesley Fofana, yes, he's injured, but he's still employed by Chelsea. Paddy Schill should be coming back very, very soon. Axel Desassi, Thiago Silva, 
Lee Colwell. I'm potentially forgetting a few other players. So um, we've got a lot. Yeah, Humphreys, Bashi Humphreys. So Chalaba, you are 100% surplus to requirements. I, I didn't want it. I, I wanted him to stick around as opposed to Axel Desasi. But look, it is what it is. We've got Axel Desasi now. He had a really good match against Luton. Hopefully he, he makes that as a platform for him to be consistent for the re rest of the season. But Chalaba, I know he's injured for a month. So it's going to be tricky to sell him. But we have to find a way. We have to figure out a way. If he wants to join Bayern Munich, we've got to figure out a way of doing it. We were looking to figure out a way to sign Michael Olise. So I'm pretty sure, you know, there could potentially be a way to sell injured players. I know how you do your medical if you're injured, but we were looking to do that with Michael Olise. So there must be a way of getting this transaction done, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what happens in regards to this. Next up, uh, also a little bit more information about Chal Trevor Chalaba from Matt Law now. Trevor Chalaba has been told that bids will be accepted for him. The player is in no rush to leave Chelsea and wants to fight for his spot. So the player apparently wants to fight for his spot and then we've got over here contradicting news saying that he wants to join Bayern Munich. So take it how you want to take it. I think why would a player want to stick around? You're not going to get any game time. We've, we are stacked with CB, so I think he will potentially look to move on just to save his own career. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea are going to be a side to watch right until the end of the window. They're going to surprise us with few moves, but as far as Brennan Johnson is concerned, I think Spurs are more likely than Chelsea. I need to, I really need to kickstart my second channel and do a lot more videos there. It's just, oh man, I don't have the time, but I, I do need to find time. Spurs are a team to look out for, ladies and gentlemen. They they, they won earlier today, 2-0 victorious against Bournemouth. They're looking to get Brennan Johnson. Um, look, I'm not convinced with Brennan Johnson, so I'm glad that this is a news that's coming from Ben Jacobs saying that um, potentially we're not doing anything. We are getting involved with Nottingham Forest a lot. I think Callum and is the next one, potentially could be moving there as a, as a replacement of Brennan Johnson, so we'll see what happens there. Um the one that I probably want to get interested, and I want you to let me know in the comment section, their striker, Tayo uh, uh, Ayoni, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's the one to look out for. He's a proper surprise package. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, the signing of our second goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper. It is now official. Welcome to Chelsea, Jorge Petrovic, looking really sharp. A lot of people want him to start immediately. A lot of people not convinced with Robert Sanchez. Jorge Petrovic joins Chelsea. I'm so happy to be at Chelsea, and I'm really excited to get started at this club. It is a big step for me, and it's always been a dream of mine to sign for one of the biggest clubs in world football. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is now confirmed. Um... And that brings us to the end of this particular, you know, news segment today. Let me know what you thought about everything we spoke about, especially in regards to Mark Kukurea. Um, well, how, what would you like to see? Do you think it's harsh that we're letting him go? Um, I think majority of you guys will say that it's probably not harsh. So, yeah. And the fact that he's going to Man United, let me know how you feel about that. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. I shall see you guys for a live, hopefully tomorrow. I think I should be going live. Um, so, yeah, do look out for that. Until then, take care. See ya.